the dean you need, I am the dean you love, please come back to me, I am the dean you know, I am the dean you need, I am the dean you love, please come back to me. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Abdul Malik Ahmed from Native Dean on Dean TV. I am here with the Hijabi Bengali sisters. Oh, mashallah, the Hijabi <laughs> Bengali sisters. Kemo naso. Hello. So tell us a little about your names and uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I'm Nash. Well, I go as Nash on YouTube, and I go as Mo on YouTube. But my full name is Monica, and her full name is Nishia. Assalamu alaikum to all my brothers and sisters. Oh my gosh, it's been forever. <laughs> so we were just like, we wonder how many other girls are struggling like us. Uh -huh. So yeah. then we just started making videos, you know, talking about Islam, our journey, and everything. And the next thing you know, you know, <laughs> girls are like, whoa, I can relate to you yeah. too. And it just started going from there. So. I wear the hijab. I mean, why do you breathe? Cause I look fly. I wear the hijab because it's a part of my faith. Because in 2431, it was ordered for us to lower our gaze and guard our modesty and only show what is usually thereof, which meaning only our face and our hands. I wear it because it's a part of modesty. Because I value the sunnah of the prophet and his wives. I wear it because of respect. Because those that are most precious are the ones that are covered. So I wear it because I refuse to conform to society standards. Because I'm comfortable with myself. I wear it because it makes me different. Because I decide what you get to see. So what is so you said this is a journey that you felt that you know when you started, and then you felt there was a lot of people who related to you, mm -hmm. uh, and and uh, is that most of the most of your followers people who wear hijab or or tell us a little bit about your audience. Well, alhamdulillah, we even have audience who are non-Muslims too and mm -hmm. atheists, and they actually respect us, and you know they're starting to learn more about Islam. They're like, you know, you guys talk about Islam in the most approachable way where it's not offensive to anybody. Mm -hmm. So yeah. alhamdulillah, like we have like boys and girls like just anybody even little hijabis, kids non hijabis yeah, just, it does not matter yeah. it's just that at the end of the day we relate to people on a human level yeah so that's what Islam teaches us right above mm -hmm. every and every race that humankind is the race that you know so that's basically what we kind of preach and that's why everybody can relate to us yeah. okay well, yeah. for your well-being as well okay will, things will fall into place in the right time in the right place with the right person so please don't be so negative and don't be harsh on yourself for all the matters of everything and all the affairs of your life are, is decreed by Allah. Don't ever doubt his plans, okay? We, that's, that's the part, that's a crucial time when you're supposed to be more closer to Allah more than ever and seek for his guidance and help. And now if you don't do that, that's when you have the problem because you're losing faith and that's a test. Okay. Yeah. And so you guys are sisters. Yes, yes. blood sisters. <laughs> and how does it feel to be in like a, you know, a group and as sisters, do you guys fight? Yes. yes! Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> yeah, yeah yes. well, we get irritated, but at the end of the day, we love each other. And it's like we help each other when we feel down at times. You know, when, you know, there's always criticism and stuff, and we have to take that. And, you know, sometimes I feel really down. She's there to pull me back up. She's like, no, we have to keep going. And we keep each other in check. So, yeah, like, definitely. If I'm slipping, Indeed. she keeps me in check. Yeah. And really? Yeah. Slipping, yeah. Uh huh. Like, you know, wake up for fudger. <laughs> yeah. Get up. <laughs> Basically. Pouring water. I need to pour your prayer now. Uh -huh. Yeah. Prayer right now. Yeah. 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 We feel each other's pain so much, so the other one's really affected by it, and that's exactly how we're feeling right now, because I've been going through a couple of horrible stuff, and alhamdulillah for the sister I have. No, it's Thank not, you. No, it's not even that. It's just like, we both as well have been yeah. going through, and like, you know, we're, we're dealing with it with patience like one should, and you should like think, you, you should say alhamdulillah, whether it's a good thing or bad thing, because you should praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in trials and tribulations yep. and in good times. So don't yep. forget that. Sometimes we're just like, whenever we're like, you know, um, undergoing something like really bad, we're just like, God, why, why? But no, there's, that's what one like, sh me and her are like going to like, currently we're going to like some, like something really bad. So... I, I keep telling her, I'm like, man, you know, because of this, there's probably something really, really good that's coming Much out of this that we inshallah. can't see right now, yeah. but inshallah, in, in the, the future, like, we'll be like, ah, so that's, that's why it happened. <laughs> okay, Very thank good. you. Yeah. Now, I've seen some of your videos. Um, some of them are cool. I mean, you did some little skits here and there. Yeah, that's actually and how we started. Like, really? we would start all of our videos with, like, beatboxing. Yeah. Like, she would beatbox and make, like, a... 
like a corny rap in the beginning. Yeah. Like, this is Mo and Nash, whatever. And then we would just like the beep, the rhyme in the beginning would be like, this is what our video is about. about right. yeah. So people would know what we're about to talk about. Yeah. And it was this is Mo and Nash dash HP sisters giving dawah for the youth, ladies and Mister. Uh, uh, high five. And that's all the saliva that came from spin all that. No <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And it, we would do the skate on a table. We're not like... Yeah, we started this from our house. Yeah, okay. so... The living room, that's about it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, so much light. Girl, I like them weaves. Hey, girl. Your hijab seems a little rusty. You can use some body butter. Oh, that's it. The back of your head is ridiculous. Okay, so don't judge me. But when can your parents and family members see your hair? Is, is that thing flammable? I am so sorry you have to go through that. Bad boys like thick girls, <laughs> baby. I'm loving them thick fabric. She want a photo? She already know though. Take off that hijab, you know though? Oh, what is that rag on your head for? Oh, it's not a rag. It's a towel. Oh, you see, in, in my country, we tell that's a bathing, but I see you guys are always dirty in there. Why are you joining the dark forces? Girl, what you look at? What you walking over there looking like Ku Klux Klan? How about you let me take you and that hit job out for a date? And I'm not talking about the poop, girl. Girl, what's that big bump in the back of your head? It looks like something just woke up. So, um, I don't have any scars available for you to wear, but is it okay if we substitute some towels? You heard a YOLO? Well, I say yo ho. Yeah, I only hit job once. So, this is an interesting video, which everybody does. And we're actually gonna act this one out. Oh, so, I'm here sorry. it goes. It's a wonderful day in the park. I'm gonna sit here and do my homework. I'm <coughs> so bored and... Hey, so... Hey, hi. Hi. Uh, I heard you singing like a mile away dog. Uh, oh, yeah. I don't like to brag about my singing. I just do it for fun, you know. That's cool, man. It's cool. Yeah. Yes. Um, what's it say in your head? Um, it's, it's, um, it's a, it's a headband. Something uh, I like to wear, you know. Um, tell, do you have any stories of people who actually, you know, I guess, watched your video and then really were affected by it? Yes, yes. there were people that, like, I, like, I don't want to brag or gloat about this or anything like that. But there are people who have messaged us, and they're yeah. just like, they're either people who have less left Islam and then found it again. Mm. There are uh, women who embraced the hijab mm -hmm. after watching, and there are people who even converted to, to Islam, Islam, realizing. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, we yeah, didn't know. I was <laughs> like, it's doing really it. our videos. I know. It's like, yeah. It's just crazy because um, I remember one of my coworkers. She was like. She doesn't know that I have a YouTube channel, but she was just like, "Why do you have so many followers?" I'm like, "I don't know what you're talking about." <laughs> she was like, "She was like, it's just so weird because you post some things on your Facebook that like I can relate to." I'm like, "Like what?" She's like, "I didn't know that you guys had humor." And I was like, <laughs> "You mean like Muslims, Muslims had humor?" <laughs> yeah, I'm just right. like, "What?" Yeah, yeah so. So I, you know, I, I've been, you know, I've been thinking that, you know. If you look at the civil rights movements, you yeah. know, you have leaders in the civil rights movements that were like yeah. the pioneers, you mm -hmm. know, like, you know, uh, people who, who were the, and, and I think where Islam is in America, the sisters who wear hijab are like the pioneers, you know? Yeah. And then all, all those people later on, they're going to be like, man, I wish I was one of those hijabis, yeah. <laughs> you know, I wish I was with them, you know? And, and so what is, let me, let me ask you this. What are some of the things that uh, I guess in the future that you want to do? Because obviously you have a good, a, a nice following, yeah. you know, yeah. and um, some of the ideas that you want to develop. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, we this was always my dream and her dream too, is just to travel around the about world. Your dream, I'll speak about mine. <laughs> well, no, 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 but like you know, traveling, <laughs> traveling and doing dawa and like you know, not just for women but for the youth. Because I feel like you know, if we want this world to be a better place. We have to raise, uh, like, teach our, you know, younger generation. So because after we're gone, they're, they're the leaders, you know. Right, right. So I just feel like, you know, we have to teach them, and like that's pretty much my dream at least. And mm -hmm. my dream is, it's really weird, but it's to break out of this capitalistic system. Because let yeah. me tell you, 
in the major that I'm studying in, information technology, they teach us, oh, if you snooze, you lose. Like, if people are not going to pay you, you don't help them. And that's not the mentality. That's yeah. not what Islam teaches us. Yeah, so what true. I want to do is somehow use that technology knowledge that I'm gaining mm -hmm. to give back to society, to a better society. And I don't know, I want to write a book. And, like, my dad and mom has been such an inspiration. Yeah, they're like, you know what? You don't have to do this. This is, like, a backup for you, you right, know? Yeah. Like, if you want to give dawah, go give dawah. And my dad, he keeps recommending, like, all these books, like, or about this <laughs> man who worked only for four hours. <laughs> and like he's just so into that so then i started getting into it and nice, i really nice. do think that knowledge is power so knowledge is power do not fall into the cycle and system just everybody society, else is yeah. doing. you can break it think yeah. of all the people who didn't follow the system and look at them now yeah so assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh time for another line of surah cat inshallah i hope you guys have been keeping up and so, yeah, let's get started. You mentioned that your parents, you guys, uh, um, I got a chance to meet your parents. Yeah. They seem like very nice people. Yes. Talk a little bit about, you know, how they've influenced you and helped you guys. They've been um, in our videos, too. If it, yeah. Oh, really? Yes. I, I haven't seen that one. Yeah. Marriage Talk with Mama. Oh. And then oh. Oh. Baba. Advice Check from that Baba. out. Yeah. Okay. Ma, you want to say salam? Assalamu alaikum. Yeah. So this is my mother. When I was this little and I used to look up at you like this and everything, I used to be like, Daddy, Daddy, what is what is the meaning of life? What did you used to tell me? <laughs> I, used to tell, I used to tell you that life, life is good. Uh -huh. Life is beautiful. Uh huh. Life is beautiful. And then when you grow up, you will see that life has changed so much when you grow up you'll have a different a new world yeah but people doesn't have, when you grow up you 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 you're in college or in a high school and you see everybody carry their cell phone computers laptops and all those things and camera and all those things the camera laptop and those things were luxury at that time mm -hmm. but now, now is necessary okay i mean they were okay so when we weren't religious they always took us to halakas and stuff and we would fall asleep we're like oh my god i hate <laughs> this yeah. my, my, but my parents really like i knew their intention was good and stuff and like alhamdulillah you know one day my dad went to hajj and you know touched the kaaba and he's just like praying and crying please god my um, daughters and stuff mm -hmm. and like right after he came back we just wore the hijab it by was choice. so weird yeah, yeah. and really? yeah, yeah it was just really weird and the thing about our parents and i think a lot of parents have to understand this is that one, you have to have this open, honest communication with, with your, your kids. kids. You have to build a relationship with them. And two, you can't be so strict on them. You can't yeah. you can't force Islam on them. You have to let them like let them Learn. know what's right, but mm -hmm. then let do you. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. And that's exactly what they did. Oh, and, yeah. and so they gave us all this freedom and we were like, No, this is too much. <laughs> this is, we need to put restriction ourselves. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, you know, um Seriously, Dad, what would you do? Yeah, uh, <laughs> I beat them, wring their neck. <laughs> <laughs> Get an axe out, <laughs> chop them off. <laughs> no, not really. I'm happy to. I'm happy to see my daughters married. Wait, you would give us away to anybody? What do you mean anybody? How come is anybody can come and get? No way. But no way. But no way. My daughter has their, their own choice, right? Yeah. I can just say somebody on the street that hey, I, I give my daughter to you. No. My daughter has my choice and I have to ask whether she likes to go or not. So, Tell us what you guys want to do for um, HBS, Hijabi Bengali Sisters. Well, one thing for sure, we're going to get out, this, this out here. Um, my grandfather, before he died, he created an orphanage and it's in Bangladesh right now. Yeah. And so when we took our visit to Bangladesh in 2013, our eyes were open like we saw all these um orphans living there and i remember before we were leaving they were just like don't forget us mm. yeah. and so then we started this uh campaign raising uh money for them and we started sending money back for food and their clothes and, and they're all uh studying to be hafiz of the quran oh, really? it first started out small housing only a few orphans but now that very orphanage caters to 62 plus orphans My grandfather died on July 21st, 1998. He handed out this responsibility to his eldest son, our father. And now the responsibility is handed down to us. Me and Mo. Yeah, yeah so and then 
So basically, you know, that's a big thing for us is that we want to get involved in like charity, charity projects, and, you know, okay. helping yes, these definitely. orphans and stuff. Yeah, and there's another charity project. That's yeah, gonna we're gonna do a Ramadan water charity, and okay. it's gonna be like ha however much we raise, um, they choose any third world country that needs fresh water, and they mm. build a well and everything. So yeah, alhamdulillah, I feel like because now that we are at like in front of an audience, mm -hmm. we have a voice. Right. So we're gonna responsibility. Yeah. So. so all right, this what a great interview. Inshallah, I want you guys to check out the Hijabi Bengali sisters. Check them out on what? Tell us a little bit about you know what? How we how they get to you know Twitter, YouTube, oh, okay. Facebook, well, all that kind of Facebook stuff. Facebook fan page is the Hijabi Bengali sisters. You can like us there for our posts and everything. And, and our Twitter, Twitter is HBS underscore sisters. And then we have Instagrams <laughs> at Nashi Nash N A S H I I I Nash and then. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is Minty Furby Mo, and um, just to check out our YouTube channels, you know, www.youtube.com slash the Job of Sisters. Sisters. So, yeah. All right, what a great interview. This is Abdul Malik Ahmed from Native Dean on Dean TV with the Hijab in Bengali Sisters. <laughs> See you next time. Salaamu Alaikum wa rahmatullah. I am the Dean you love, please come back to me, I am the Dean you know, I am the Dean you need, I am the Dean you love, please come back to me.